75 years, the United States has led and maintained the global rules-based trading system, a system that has provided global opportunities for American firms, workers, and consumers, while deepening the relationship between the United States and its trading partners. Now, the system is under pressure and U.S. trade leadership is wavering. Two conflicting economic systems are beginning to clash, a Western-led, market-driven model based on the rule of law and an authoritarian, state-driven model championed by China. And change is accelerating. The global trade rulebook was not designed to take on new challenges like the digital economy, climate change, and unfair non-market economic policies. Old challenges, like ensuring that trade benefits workers and not just those at the top, are more pressing than ever. The three main functions of the World Trade Organization, negotiation, dispute settlement, and monitoring, are quickly eroding. These challenges are urgent. Left unanswered, they will diminish U.S. economic and geopolitical influence. The United States and its like-minded partners must revitalize the global rules-based trading system. Doing so will require reinvigorated U.S. trade leadership. The Commission has developed a strategy for the United States to reorient its trade policy for the 21st century and lead the reform of the global rules-based trading system. There are three core parts of the strategy. The creation of a new trade compact among like-minded advanced market economies, a pragmatic approach to WTO reform, and an update to U.S. trade laws. First, the compact would supplement, not supplant, the WTO by acting as a forum for ambitious, like-minded countries to quickly reach robust agreements that could then be proposed at the WTO. Three areas should form the compact's initial agenda. Establishing a positive rulebook for 21st century economy issues like digital trade and trade's role in combating climate change, establishing a common approach to countering unfair, non-market economic policies, and launching discussions on current issues in need of improvement like labor rules, investment, and services. Second, pragmatic WTO reform led by the United States should include reform to the dispute settlement system and restoration of the appellate body, a new approach to flexibilities for developing countries and agreements, and penalties for failure to meet basic transparency obligations. Third, the United States should update its trade laws to allow for faster action to protect industries from unfair trade practices like harmful foreign subsidies, dumping, and circumvention of trade remedies. And the United States should revive a China-specific safeguard so it has a tool to counter Chinese overcapacity without causing collateral damage. These recommendations, while not exhaustive, chart a course for a bold, nimble, and calibrated U.S. trade policy necessary to lead the global rules-based trading system into the 21st century. Thank you.